But yeah, so we've been having um, plant-based meats alternatives, uh, mostly stemming from the fact that we've always been enjoying veggie burgers, but we had gone to Disney Disneyland. Wow, that is loud. Um, we had gone to Disneyland and... I had an in the Impossible Star Wars Burger. Park, well, and... first, in the Star Wars Park, which is Galaxy's Edge, they had this one place that made Ronto wraps, except there was a vegetarian Ronto wrap that used Beyond Sausage in it. And it had a lot of uh, press your South stick in? Korean... Okay, sure. Wait, do I first per se? Uh, left stick in. Left stick in. As well. There you go. I don't have a hat. Uh, It'll come back. Where did my hat go? I wouldn't worry about it. In any case, yeah, we were, and I loved it. I thought it was actually something that was partially mushroom based or something along those lines, but. I've got my axe. You've got your bow. Yes, but I only have 80 arrows. That does not look right. Well, uh, your arrows reset every time uh... we come back to town. It's That part is stupid. I hate that. But in any case, should we start talking about the meat? Yeah, yeah. The um, big meat. Sorry. I'm just managing my inventory, getting rid of the stuff that I don't want. Uh, I'll keep the fire arrows. Well, in any case, so I suppose we went to Disneyland and went to Galaxy's Edge, and I wanted to get the vegetarian version of the Ronto wrap at Galaxy's Edge because it had a lot of green sauces and, and flavors and whatnot. I thought, oh, that, that sounds good. And... I really enjoyed the Beyond Sausage that they ended up having in it as the plant-based alternative meat. And then Wander had an Impossible Burger yep. at one of the restaurants. So, Shell, why don't you come over and talk to yep. this guy? You, uh, The other guy sells new gear. This guy sells new abilities. So you just want me to throw a hundred... All of your money in, into it. I guess you don't have as much as I did. I'll throw one in. Well, Torment Quiver is pretty good. I'll take it. Okay, uh... Chris? Uh, can oh. I equip the torment quiver? Yeah, I'd equip it over the heel. We honestly do not use the heel thing nearly I, as much. I use the heel. The oh, dungeon. okay. Uh, replace the dog then? Yeah. And recycle the dog. Recycle it? Recycle that dog. Huh. Do your ecological duty. <laughs> Farewell, dog. Uh, you want to see if you have enough? to buy one more? No. I don't believe like I do. Short. I'm a couple I short. wonder if because uh, that was part of the you being cloned, uh, if you didn't get anything. Uh, this is a blacksmith. Uh, you can buy a new piece of gear if you want. Maybe two. I don't know. You can get one. If you want. It's usually not the greatest. Armor. Yeah, it's, eh. it's the inferior version of what I'm rolling. Okay, eh. well, we're almost done with Creeper Woods. I really don't like so gambling. Uh, let's, go, let's go here. Creepy crypt. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so between the Impossible Burger and the Vegetarian Ronto Wrap, it was like, oh, yeah, meat-based alternatives are actually, like, legit good. Yeah, really tasty. Because we had heard about Impossible Burgers and whatnot before, and we're like, okay, this actually does seem like something that is worth our, our time and uh Because we want stomachs. to be environmentally conscious and... And a lot of other things. A bunch of other things. And so they're just good. Uh, they are good. And so... All oh, right, I'm gonna summon the horde. Oh, these are our llamas. Yep. And so, uh, the other thing we've been doing is we've been ordering most of our groceries. If you don't mind, I'm gonna leave the map up often. Okay, I mean that's all right, as long as it doesn't get in the way too much. It's kind of annoying. I wish it was there was like a smaller variant or something. Uh, but whatever. But so uh, we've been ordering our groceries because. We don't really want to go out, and the people at our grocery store do not practice social distancing in the slightest. Hey, there's hunter armor for you. Yeah, nice. Uh, so you should probably put that on. Can I do that? Oh, no. It looks like a downgrade. Uh, yeah, it's a mild downgrade. It'll give you more arrows, but it doesn't give you any of the other abilities. Um, but yeah, so most people do not practice proper social distancing, or like wear masks uh, which like people We'd should like be wearing masks. We'd like to limit masks. our exposure Whoops. potential exposure Whoops. as much as possible. Ah oh, watch out. Well time to experiment with this. What is it? I have a, uh, a totem? Yeah I have a regen totem. I wonder if that just makes us regen our health. We do. It's like one HP at a time. It's not the greatest. It's enough. 
Um, oops. But so, uh. Something looks wrong with that apple. I'll take it. Yum. I guess I'll just turn the map on and off routinely. But in any case, meat has been in short supply anyway. Or really expensive. And like, I was looking at the price of beef, and it was just, like, stupid high around here. And it's like, okay. Well, our Beyond Food stuff has not gone up in the pr in price at all. Actually, they were having a two-for-one sale. Yeah, so we're like, okay, let's just buy a silly well, amount of this. two for the price of one. Uh, so we ordered our groceries for today. And um, it was mostly just, like, drinks and meat replacements. Because we burn through those a lot faster than, like, frozen veggies and grains. And since it was a two-for-one, we're like, all right, screw it. Let's just get a whole bunch. Uh, and did. But they were all out of, uh, I guess, every variety apart from the burger patty. We did, we did get the sausages. Though. We did get the bur sausages. But yeah, so uh, when the uh, delivery came in, where it normally would have been... Ow. Watch out. I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have gotten so close to those blasty creepers. I figured I'd be fine, but those were the hero variety, and I was not paying they full were, attention. They were bright purple. They were glowing. The meat prices are high. That should be right. Nope, it's super high. Because, uh... It's kind of a couple of things. Uh, meat packing plants Can in I the bring US. You, up? you have to press and hold A to pick me up. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do that now. Yeah, yeah I just... Uh, try your soul arrows, by the way. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Also, apparently you're going to take some damage. Oh. Yeah, so pick me up. Uh, let's see. And we might as well hang out in here. Oh, yeah. Just wait for a little you while. Regen. All right. Summon my, my alpaca army. That is not as much healing as I was hoping it would be. I think it's one. Yeah, it's like, like it's a little bit of something. HP. Uh, there's, there's a, it's not a chest; it's one of those. But yeah, so we containers. we got our delivery, and instead of you know a nice selection of variety and or variety, it's just like so many patties. Ten burgers. <laughs> but are, the thing is, we are I, now burger house. I have made my own Ron to wraps by. Just tearing them into and bits and then going yeah. from there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's totally fine. It was just the the matter of like we opened up our grocery Watch bags and it's just like, up. hey, do you like burgers? And it's like, I I don't know about you. I never cared for burgers growing up. I thought they were okay, but like when I went to McDonald's, I didn't really care about the burgers. I was there for the fries. <laughs> I was there for the Happy Meal toys. Yeah, I mean every kid was. And I actually rather. I became fond of my vegetables, uh, for instance, chopped onions and pickles and stuff because they always put them as default on their. I didn't mind the pickles. I did not care for the onions. I, know I think it's because the onions, onions were always just kind of gross in a McDonald's burger because they clearly were just using like cheap. They must have minced it incredibly small. Yeah, cheap, high minced, whatever things. Um, but yeah, we've become true Americans. Kind of. I mean, it's Wait, super weird. Well, the fact that we just have burger. Here, Burgers. we're going up here. Well, I thought there was another... We're, this is a dead end. Always go for the dead end first. I know, I know. It, it's just that there was something back there that... Wait, I'm out of arrows? How is that possible? Because you've been using them and not picking up a whole lot of replacements. Uh, but yeah, we'll go the other way. At some point. These trees are annoying. All right, uh, but yeah, I, I guess I'm just mildly taken aback because I, I truly did not expect myself to be much of a burger fan uh, as an adult, but I mean, here I am. They're a type of sandwich, technically. Kind of, yeah. And I know that you like sandwiches. See, apple pie is the other one. Y yeah, eh. apple pie is okay. I've been always, I've always been more of a peach. Peach crumble kind of dude. Hey, arrows. I'm surprised I could actually pick up those arrows. Uh, I think the arrows just kind of default to an orange aura, but those are considered universal. Whoops. What happened? Uh, apparently we got too far away, and I worked back to you, which saved me from getting blown up, I think. <laughs> okay, you want to go for the archers? Yep. I'll deal with the zombies. We 
There we go. Yeah. And it's got apple. And money. But also apple. I'm getting a lot of cash. Oops. That one was glowing. What's the shadow brew? Uh, it makes you stealthy for a little while. And if you hit, a, hit an enemy, you, uh, like, they will not shoot you. So uh -huh. this guy does not know I'm here, but if I hit him, I do a, I crit him. Oh, oh, those are the creeps. Yeah. Since I'm not using my ammo too much, Level I up. just use it to finish off the creepers. It's not so bad. Ouch, that hurt. Okay, that hurt. Champion creepers are nasty. They just leak. Creep away with them. I know what I said! Ow. Actually, that didn't hit me. Hey! Oh, right, because my armor has a chance to just uh, absorb hits. Mm hmm. Now, was there something in here? Oftentimes, no. Okay. Ah! Yeah, watch out. Just stay away. <gasps> the poor, poor llama. It's what they get for being so dumb. I, I kind of wish the our alpacas and llamas were uh, exempt. I, I don't know about you, but whenever I play these games, unless it's a creature that's supposed to be like tanking hits for me, I actually prefer it if they're just kind of immortal. Because mm -hmm. the AI Hence is always just too you dumb. You have cool upgradable spirit creatures. As opposed to these physical ones. Because I always had that problem in, uh, I mean, almost any MMO I ever played. Oh, it's, because I always wanted to be a hunter. Yeah, a hunter or a minion or master. But you'd always have, like, your just brain-dead minion that's just like, Terrible AI. Oh, what's this, uh, what's this explosion? Dead. Oh. Yep. We're barking up the longest tree here, but that's okay. What? Why? Oh, you can you can tell the uh, the marker is saying like go the other way. Oh no no no! D -d -d Ouch! That one hurt. Oh, there we go. Totem. Here's another one of those creepy green candles. I, I remember that you snuffed out that one a long time ago, but that was because it was part of a pedestal. Yeah. I always associate green flames with necromancy. It, it seems like it should be something I can interact with, but... Oh, well. It's interesting that when you select those, the bones disappear. I'm gonna just let you get shot for a while. Ah. You should stand in front of the llamas. So they actually shoot you, so you get arrows back. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I understand your desire to avoid uh, personal harm, but at the same time, free ammunition. That reminds me of that one anime that we had started watching about the girl who's just going, hmm, I'm gonna put all of my stats into vitality so that I never take damage. And then she proceeded to become the strongest. Oh, watch out. Explosion. Yeah, that was, oh, why am I do totally forgetting the name of that? I mean, wasn't it one of those long, ridiculous names that it, it essentially did, included I put everybody all my used like a, into uh, vitality? Everybody used a uh, Bofuri. There we go. Bofuri, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people just use like a shorthand, like Bofuri or Konosuba. Yeah, and then her friend put all of her stats into speed. Well, not all her stats, but yeah, quite think, a bit of it. I think she was a little bit more well-rounded. I like the idea of that, and I wish there were more games that kind of coped with that kind of design mentality. I really liked how in Guild Wars 1, the dual classing... That and was fun, but I always found it a skills. little too limiting. And some of the combinations were just bad. Yeah, I I, didn't, I never liked how you encouraged me to choose meta builds. Like, these are the best well, that's because the game was hard. You kind of had to. Yeah, I know. I mean, what I would like is maybe fewer choices, but more combinations and... Uh, My favorite... In terms of like combined class combos and whatnot, uh, very much was Grim Dawn, where you combined mm -hmm. two uh, two classes together, and they often had some like really neat combo effects as a result. That one was, I feel like it was done better. Oh, for you. Ooh, yeah, but it is. 
Don't know if it's any better than my current bow, but that will hinge on whether or not it allows me to have infinite ammo or nigh infinite ammo. Probably not. Gosh. That is a speaking of the really long anime titles. Mm -hmm. I I'm actually having trouble finding anime and manga because they have those long overly descriptive titles. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what what's a good example? Um, gosh, I, I can't actually remember half of them I because mean, they're so the, generic. Yeah, I've been reborn, born as a this and that and this and that. I mean, that's not so bad. Like, my second life is a slime or something. Like, that's that's at least something you can kind of work with. But no, there's like, um... Oh, shoot. I, I was reading one yesterday that I thought was kind of decent, but definitely, like, the title was just too too long and descriptive. It was like, I was kicked out of the hero's party because my spells weren't flashy enough. So I... It sounds like they... I signed on as the Demon King's top lieutenant or something like that oh, and it yeah. was like i actually like this story but i wish it was blah blah like short like two word title it, it and then probably would have been like that. demon lieutenant i mean but you can come up with something better than that but like yeah, i know but the thing is it, american titles would have something short like that but whoa! bye <laughs> hey, <laughs> the I floor falls out beneath could you crumble yeah, so see these blocks? I see those ones, yes. They do not look like they're part of the... Yeah, they, they will fall. Um, oh, no, it's over here. Oh, a lever. What does it do? This summons is, monsters. This looks bad. That's not so bad. Uh, but so, like... I, this this specific uh, trend has, has come as a result of... Um, as a result of a lot of anime and, and manga uh, being sourced from light novels first, because ah. it's easier and cheaper uh, to do so. Because it's, you know, you've already got the pre-built fan base, you've already got the writing and and so on and so forth. Then they've just become more popular. Yeah, and I think for kind of good reason. Uh, arrows for you. I'm gonna run out just because. Though I wonder what's arrows going to- Arrows and bow for you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Though I wonder what's going to happen in regards to it, because it seems like you might run into the issue of several series having a very similar art style because they're handled by a select few animation studios. Yep. Whereas with manga, they would try to match the style of the manga. Yeah. Whereas uh, if they don't have that, then... Well, that's how you get a lot of really generic isekais that, like, no one remembers. They all look very similar. Yeah, like, people will watch them, but no one's going to remember half of them because they're so generic. Um, my problem is... Here, let's go back. A sure. uh, couple of dead ends here. Oops. Uh, but... So, originally, uh, these light novels were titled as such... So, if you walked by them on the shelf, you'd just read the summary title, and then you'd be like, oh, I want to read that. It'd be like the inside flap uh, that would give you a short Yeah, exactly, summary. but it's it's like the shorter version of that to try and appeal to people. But the, It worked for the first number, uh, but I feel like now it's actually holding everybody back, like the industry back. Because now everybody's doing it, so every title is just the same, and I'm, I'm kind of yearning for One Piece, Bleach, uh... Oh, shoot. What are some other... You do have to wonder, though, when people start running out of single or double word combinations to brand their series. Because uh... then you have to have something, colon, blah, 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 blah. I... Yeah... I think it's going to be one of those that, Unless like... Unless you completely make up a word. Yeah. As like Which the, I think is okay. The name of your world or something. That yeah. makes sense. And I think the amount of permutations and words that we have that are available... Oops, sorry. ...are so numerous that I don't think it's a big deal. Um... Ah! Creeper, creeper. Okay, good. They... Oh, I didn't realize that they blast on their own. Yep. I think you can even get them to blow up and take out other enemies. You should uh, resummon your llama. Oh, yeah. Let's see. 
There's so much here, isekai the trash. It. There really is. I ran into a really good one the other day uh, called The Wolf Won't Sleep. It's only uh, 12 chapters. The manga is only 12 <laughs> chapters long. Uh, but apparently the novel is extremely long and the translations are fairly far ahead. Uh, Do I have to open this? We just... Oh. Because we need these doors to open. We actually need to go through here. Oh. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but you saw me reading this one, right, Shell? Yeah. Uh, you're just saying yeah because you want me to continue. No, no, no. I, I remember that you started reading one with a guy that has an eye patch, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so effectively, premise of the manga is a Dark Souls character finds a portal to a more generic fantasy world and is like trying to find his way through it. And I think that's I, I think that's a genre that I I am definitely into, which is, isa, uh, fantasy world, isekai to other isekai as opposed to like modern world stuff, because mm -hmm. it was super compelling to have this dude from like this like really grim reality, ported over to a much, much more like kind of traditional fantasy, uh, thing and kind of navigating, uh, the differences between I guess his, and theirs. It was much more interesting, and the art was uh, super top tier. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. I guess I'm super sick of trash isekai, except uh, for the ones that, that are one not that you trash. Me that was a. What was it? They were being put through some kind of series of tests, uh, and then forced to make dungeoneering groups, and they had to go. Uh, gosh, that's a. There's a lot. Are we talking Tower of God? No, no, no. It was when they had that weird school gymnasium oh, intro. Yeah. Where most of the people died outright. Oh. Uh, and I, some people were invited and some I people... I totally forgot that one. Uh, that one was a mon... That's a mon manwa. So, Korean. No, definitely not God of High School. This one was... It was... Like, the main character was supposedly... Potentially like a reincarnation or just another version of some Lancer character? No, so effectively so, in the future guy. uh he fought in some like big war and, and earned a favor from like whatever the one of the gods of the world was. And there oh treasure pig! Oh, you have to kill the treasure pig? pig? Yeah, you gotta Ooh, you got Archer's armor. Right. Nice. That seems apropos. I want to get it. Uh, I'll equip it later. After we've dealt with the spiders. Yeah, because unfortunately this game does not pause when we're in the inventory. Second coming of Gluttony. That's the one. That Gluttony. one was pretty good. Huh. It was a little dark. It's, it is, yeah. Pretty and dark. like... Though I did like how the villains for the initial arc got their comeuppance. Yeah. And... Uh, schadenfreude is very important when I'm reading a story. Though sometimes it's a little bit too much, but I felt well, like that was because usually the well. main protagonists are too caring and forgiving. Arrows for you. Yeah, also, sure. you should get on your armor. Sure. Uh, you have two archers' air armors. Okay, which so, one's better? Uh, that one is slightly better, but check the enchantments. Oh yeah, look at the enchantments. So. Uh, I would actually recycle everything else so you can swap between them because you have a silly amount of swords that you do not need. Yeah, but they seem to be better than the hammer. Uh, All uh, of them have an upwards... Yeah, okay. That 30 sword, equip it. This one? Yeah. Because, yeah, at this point your hammer is out of date. Okay, so then all of the other swords I do X? Yeah. Salvage, X, salvage. I kept reading the novel for Second Coming of Gluttony, and unfortunately, very quickly it became Isekai Trash after a while, where the main character was super special and everyone loved him. And I was just like, oh. I mean, it was higher tier, but it was still. I can trash this Yeah. Way. It was still kind of trash, which was sad. My oh, is this bow better? It does have the infinity stuff, but why is that one blocked off? Uh, on the left, is it a super special ability? No, it just sometimes you have less options. So press Y. So this bow, uh, that one just increases its flat damage, which is actually really good. Wild range. So ricochet, ricochet. is sometimes worth it. But Infinity and ricochet Infinity. would be amazing. Uh, so I would equip that bow. This and, one over the yeah, one yeah. I currently have. Yeah, because it's slightly better. 
And then I have to salvage this one. Yep. Which means I have to choose my upgrades for this one. And I can only equip that one. Yeah, but I so want I go the for infinity. the I go for the infinity. And I still have more points, so do I just upgrade this? I'd wait. Check the archer armor. Oh, you're right. So there's that one, which is the 28 and the 29, but we need to check the abilities. Yeah, check your check your enchantments. Food reserves. Healing potion. You also create random food items. Electrified. Rolling zaps three nearby enemies. I haven't used rolling much. Cowardice. Okay, so while you're at full HP, you deal increased damage. Surprise gift. When you use a healing potion, you sometimes create random consumables. 50%, 100%, and 150? 150 means what? You just get potentially two Yeah, gifts? one and a half. Explorer. Okay, so you just gain some health regen. And then thorns. When you take damage, you deal damage back to the attacker. Wait, 100 damage returned? 150 damage returned? 200 damage returned? Yeah. That is cool. Okay. I like, um, I like that. But let's go look at this one. Yeah. Wait. So this has... They're very similar. Yeah, it's just slightly remixed. Oh, okay. So there's health synergy. Whenever you use an ability, which isn't that. That's the electrified, and that's the cowardice again. And then you know, there's cowardice the might actually be really worth it for you. The rain. Well, that's if I stay at full health. Because forty percent increased ranged and melee damage when you're at full health. Mm -hmm. If you're hanging back. So the thing is, I can get that combination with both. So this one has gives me more health. Yeah, this so you want one. you want the twenty nine one, and I would recycle your bag. Yeah, recycle the old one. Yep. Okay. Uh, so I go back. I'd recycle this one too. Yeah, yeah. So I check your your bow. Yeah. Uh, what's the what's the damage enchantment do, again? It's just yeah, up to thirty three percent more damage. So uh, yeah, I prioritize that because that does not have any bonus. Uh, requirements. And then I'd probably want to do the thorns. Yeah, if you want. Then you have one point for cowardice. <laughs> there we go. Who oh, I have in my inventory? Oh, you have a ton of stuff. Garbage. It's all trash. Compared to your flaming axe. Kind of, but I should probably. The, my fl so part of it is though like. Your character power matters a lot. So if you notice, I'm power twenty two. Mm -hmm. Uh, by equipping better stuff, I do I will get better gear. I think, or maybe not. But like power actually matters quite a bit when it comes to playing this game. I wish you could actually uh, chop up an old piece of, like, a new piece of gear with a higher level to level up, like, if I could raise this, that's this what, thing's level. That's what I meant by being able to upgrade gear that you already have. Like, I would love it if you salvaged other gear to give your current gear extra bonus points. Yeah. For one thing or another. Let's see. 38 to 61 gonna keep my axe for the time being. Farewell, stalwart armor. You are cool business. Do I just go pickaxe? Nah. <laughs> the axe is important. Okay. And then I'm gonna do flaming arrows. Oh, so you're doing double double llama? I, I've been doing double llama this entire time. I guess... I guess I too will join the thorns train. Oh, right. I put, like, all of my points up in, up in this thing. Okay, well, let's... Let's continue on. The dungeon is huge. Uh, Anything in here? No, oh, no, we've already. Oh, seen we didn't that. even. Here, we got a whole wing over here that we didn't even touch. Here we go. Whoa!
Oh, we, we have so many llamas, they scared me. Although they're <laughs> units or something. I'm scared of these llamas. There's something about them that is unsettling. Wow. It is just nothing but creepers. All the way down. Wow, there's just too many enemies. Ah! Uh, sick of Michelle. <laughs> I can get around this llama. Cause I don't, I don't have my durability armor anymore, so I'm actually not nearly as uh unkillable. I was still pretty killable earlier. Let's see. Did you ever play a Resident Evil game? Yeah, we actually we played through Resident Evil 2 recently. Well, no, no, one. One, one and, and two. two. But you haven't, yeah. put, you haven't put two up on YouTube, have you? Nope. Because then we got really busy and they were getting garbage views. Uh, and we never finished playing through Resident Evil, like, to we were side gonna, We were going to do to the Claire. We, we didn't even bother doing the Chris side of of the first game because we figured yeah, that it, it would be very It just similar. kind of implied that there was more story if you did the B side. Mm -hmm. Which is part of the reason why I was like kind of tempted to. Plus, it was kind but of fun watching really me liked panic. The old school. Uh, there was takes, something yeah. really fun about how claustrophobic it was. I really liked the old school shooting as opposed to the over-the-shoulder modern one that they went with. I think two was amazing. And I had played two both versions of the game on Nintendo 64, which was the old style. Yeah, I, I think ultimately 2 was the better game in terms of gameplay and smoothness and stuff, but it lost some it lost some charm as a result of uh, opening things up. You should heal. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Wrong heal. There we go. But yeah, so at some point we will go back and uh, play through the rest of the Resident Evil series. It's funny how you're just leaving fart clouds everywhere. Ah. It's the poot. I had beans today. No, you at didn't. At your you request. Didn't, you didn't poot now. Haven't yet. Not that you know. I haven't. <laughs> not that I know. I just haven't felt them through the couch yet. I lost my alpacas. What is with that alarm? Yeah, it's like a woo. That's amusing. Yeah, because of that cowardice boost, you should be trying to. Oh, I, I need to. Oh, oh sorry. Trying not to lose health as much as possible. Yeah, I was going to say, you should make sure that you're at full health as, as much as you can be. But also, uh, don't steal my food. Sorry. It's fine. These health potions come back constantly, so it's not really much of a setback. I hear something. Or no, that's that's our. You hear alpaca. our llamas. Our llamas. I like saying the alpaca more than llama. Alpaca is such a fun word. Llama, llama ain't bad. I think I just also remember that old music video that we used to watch, which was alpaca, 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 alpaca. And it was just really adorable. It was super cute. Arrows for you. I apparently have a couple hundred arrows. Apparently just putting on archer gear just gives you a ton. I wish airdrops were actually shared between us, but I can kind of understand why. Do you why have you been going archery? Uh, because it was just the highest tier gear that I had. Mm -hmm. Do your weapons break in this game? Thankfully, no. Yeah, I, I do not like... Durability is durability. terrible. I think there's a couple of games where durability makes sense. Uh, easiest example I could think of would be like uh, Seven Days to Die. Outward, it was terrible. Outward was rough, yeah. Because we we would barely traipse out of town and already get injured and our gear, you know, battered into non-existence within a couple moments. And it's like, okay, we, we just can't be going back into town healing ourselves and repairing our gear constantly. How else are we going to actually explore? 
Uh, speaking of, I guess I got a email that I'd, I'd missed, though I don't think I'm going to respond to it, no. inviting me to preview their, like, latest expansions that they're coming out with. Oh. Uh, which is cool. But they specifically wanted me to, like, play it live with one of the developers. Interesting. And I was just kind of like, I don't really want to do that. I... I think I'd be fine hanging out with certain developers that well, I've talked with. Well, I, yeah, because I think I could easily see the issue of if you were playing with a developer, then you would have to worry about them. What is their mic? Yeah. Well, like, no, 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 like them schooling you. And then also, if you have a complaint or a criticism, how do you even broach that? I think with a lot of developers, well, that's that's part of the reason why I'd want to know them first. So, like, say if I was playing, um, l let's say hanging out, say Nova Drift added, like, a multiplayer segment. So you can play a co-op with somebody, and Chimera's mm -hmm. like, yo, you want to show it off with me? I'd be like, sure. I've talked with you. I've, I've eaten Thai food with you. This is, this is enough that I, I feel reasonably comfortable, mm -hmm. uh, being on stream with you. But Cold Call, random developer, I don't know. Well, not random developer. You well, played their game before. Yeah, I played their game before, but, you know, it's not somebody that I know or have interacted with up until now. I feel bad because it's just like, I should. Uh, at the same time, I, I guess I'm actually going to be going through this slightly. Not on stream, but um, Sega is... Ah! Ah! So many monsters! Ah! I'm gonna just bring it us outside for a bit. Hey, I was clearing out my shell just fine. Do you see how little HP I have? Oh. oh well then. I am not <laughs> That hurt. A lot. I'm gonna just wait here and try not to be dead. Uh but yeah, so so Sega specifically is um Oh well the fart the fart cloud has arrived. What? Ah! Oh, <laughs> wonder! You made me make beans. He too did. I did. Guys, what up the wander toot emote? It's the poot. The poot. Oh, is there anything down here? Watch it just be creepers. <laughs> um, alright, there we go. The ha! Wander, the wander poot does look like a creeper if they actually had expressions. It really does. I mean, green square. Black Any soulless eyes. Anywho, uh, so Sega Wide is publishing mouth. Amplitude's latest uh, 4X strategy game. And they're actually, a uh, story from that, so, you know Amplitude, right? Amplitude? Uh, Dungeon of the Endless, which we need to we cover need to for the console. Yeah. That's just time. I, I don't know what it is either. Like, I'm more popular or there's more developers putting out games now. Um... Well, I think that the other thing, too, is for many of these games, it's like what we've said before with early access games and such. There are so many iterations and re-releases of these games that you don't just cover it once. Yeah, this you cover it multiple times. Like, I just finished up with, uh, or I finished queuing up uh, the rest of Space Haven. Because we played Dungeon of the Endless at the start of your channel, when which it, was yeah. back in 2013 or 2014. Dungeon of the Endless was the very first game that ever took off on, on our channel. Really? Yeah. Like, it got 5,000 views, which, you know, nowadays, that's normal. Well, ah! Then we should uh, potentially play it again. Yeah. I think that'd be good. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I am super gung-ho about... I'm surprised you didn't want to play this as well as... Is this? Oh, Dungeon well, of the Endless as, as well as this? this? Yeah. I'd be super down, except for you're hurt and can't sit up straight, so... Oh, right. We need to both be on PC for yeah, that. Yeah, it, it does not do local. Unless you I, wanted to I just hang out while I played it. More, more things should allow for local co-op. I know it's so that they can sell more games. And also, some games just are not set up for it. Um, I mean, realistically, we could just co-commentate it, um, and I can just play it... Uh, without actually mm -hmm. having you play, which is not the end of the world. That too. Um, but I was figuring we'd just do it, like, tomorrow. Because I think I'm just going to be doing Mega Roguelike Day tomorrow. Look at all these guys in uniforms. Those are illagers. 
Oh, so they're like, those part are the, the proper They're ilgers, part of the evil empire. Uh, we got like a couple little nooks back here. Okay, there's nothing in these nooks. There we go. There, I think there's a blob of meat over there. Oh, or bread. Some bread. Mm, uh, I can go for some you should, bread. You should potion. Wait, oh, I didn't need to use that potion. I could have used a. Yeah, but it's on cooldown. Potion. No reason. Uh, but yeah, so so Sega Sega has been actively trying to find me uh, so that they can show me humankind for I don't know how long, and I feel real bad about it. Well, what do you mean by find you? you well, like at PAX West, they they sent me an email like midway through, being like, "Hey, uh, we don't have like an official thing set up, but we'd love to have you get your hands on humankind." And I'm like, "Yeah, sure, uh, I'll be free on next day." And then X day comes by, uh, and they're like trying to figure out. I got a fishing rod. I got to the boots of swiftness. Can I equip them? Yeah. Uh, I want to have I do not really want these. Uh, let me just double check. Who serious pushback? Wait. That's maybe really good. Goodbye, crazy firebrand. You were cool. <laughs> you just decided to go with the pickaxe. Sort of. Oh, uh, you have a punchy that. bow. I want a punchy bow. Nope, that's a downgrade. I don't okay. know if I have boots. Do I, can I equip them? Or no, that has to go in one of my spells. Yeah, it's one of your spells. So, you don't really use your soul arrows ever, so you could get the speed boost instead. Is it a passive? No, uh, but it has a very short cooldown. Wait, is this actually worse? N yeah, it's worse. Yeah. It's all legit. So if you look at the speed boots, mm -hmm. it's a 5 second cooldown and a 1.8 second duration. So uh, you pretty much can be super fast. I mean, I can remember to use my, my soul arrows more often. I would recommend just... it. They're actually pretty good. They've got super good knockback. I'm just gonna keep buying. Oops, this one. Yes. Wait, a, a die? What is? What are you getting? Uh, let's see. So I got a death cap mushroom, which increases attack and movement speed. What is this? Shock powder stuns nearby enemies. Oh, huh. kind of nice. We seem to have a purple aura around us. Is that from anything in particular? Probably the enchantments. If you notice, it's only on the armor parts. Yeah, okay. Goodbye, alpacas. Mm -hmm. Mamas. Uh, but yeah, so they were actively like trying to get a hold of me. Should I try something? Sure. Shock powder? More boots of swift. Yeah, you're, you're not guaranteed to get great stuff out of this. But what else do we have to spend money on? Gear? Ooh, Ooh, the corrupted beacon. The that corrupted looks beacon holds immense power within. I want to take a look at that. Fires a high powered beam that continuously damages mobs. Okay, replace your soul arrows with that. That sounds pretty good. Plus one soul gathering requires souls. Yeah. Okay. So you want me to replace that with it? Yeah, probably. Because part of it is you also want to see your power level. You kind of want to keep pushing that up because the higher your power level, the higher level we can do. Mm-hmm. Okay. I suppose I could salvage some stuff later, but eh. So I have to... We acquire souls during the mission, correct? Yeah. That's what those little wisps are. So I suppose I won't be able to try out my ability until it drops properly. Uh, okay, for that. Okay, I'm good to go. Okay. So let's do Soggy Swamp. Wait, the highest level? Yeah. So we we've hit. Have max we level. Have fought a boss? I, we a soggy Swamp has a boss. Uh, so Soggy Swamp has a boss. 
pumpkin uh, pastures, redstone anything mines, with a, and fiery forge. Anything with the skull, I assume, has boss, right? Uh, well, they all have skulls. Creepy Crypt, I know, is the only one that truly does not, though I'm 90% certain. Yeah, the island realms will be available later for purchase. Oh, oh okay. Um, so Saki Swamp has a boss. Let's do that one. 